what we're doing here is actually the final evaluation of our common development of a new steel. Uh, and we're doing crash testing uh, to verify the functionality uh, on component level. We did two different tests and we've chosen the tests uh, that's most severe to the component. We made a center pole impact test, which is not actually a standard test, but it's uh, often used by OEMs to uh, evaluate bumper system integrity uh, or robustness. The second test was what's called in the business as a bumper to bumper impact. It's an insurance uh, test that the vehicles are subjected to to verify that they um, that you have a good compatibility between different vehicles in, in crash. So it's, um, it's a standard test for uh, European and US market. In this case we had a bad overlap situation which uh, caused some torsion in the beam and this meant we got good evaluation of the material and uh, the bumper system also. Our need was to find an even lighter and uh, still cost uh, attractive solution for our OEM customers. I would say speed and learnings. When you're working uh, uh, in such a close collaboration uh, with a customer, you get a very clear picture of the requirements from the beginning and having access to such a global uh, leading expertise uh, make it easier to solve the unexpected. We have uh, got a very good insight on the challenges and the way of thinking of our customers. As we've seen in our testing today, uh, the crash ductility has been maintained while the other mechanical properties as yield strength and ultimate strength have been uh, significantly improved. Uh, this means uh, I see that we could use this uh, material potentially anywhere in the body and white structure where it's used today. And it's widely used uh, in, in many different components such as B-pillars, rockers, bumpers, uh, etc. Thank you.